I am honored to be here today to thank New York Sun Works, to thank 208 and all the schools who are here. Um, I am the Manhattan Borough President, and we are trying to learn from you, from young people, to make not just Manhattan, but the whole city, the whole planet to be sustainable. And we learn from you. That is really the message of today. But to me, sustainability science, it refers to research and teachings and interventions taking place here, certainly at 333, but at other schools, to figure out how to deal with the problems facing our planet. And what's it, you know, for instance, we're, are we making sure that our public policies, what politicians decide, are not only environmentally sound, but are they equitable? That's a really important aspect of sustainability. Are we making sure that everyone in the city enjoys equal access to healthy food, green spaces, parks, playing fields, and recreation? On the other side, are we making sure everyone in our city has equal protection from environmental and health hazards that are born on city residents, like we don't want people to have mold in their homes, we don't want the roof to be leaky. And as elected official representing one borough, there are five, I'm aware of that, but we're all dense, we're all diverse, there are aspects of a sustainable science that are crucial to me, and they must be at the front of any decision making. So we have some ideas about what we can do to make our city more sustainable. It means something good for the environment right now. Not tomorrow, not the next day. We have to figure out what's good today. What, what we can do, these are all things that 333 already does. You are so far ahead, 208 does it. All the schools here do it. But we want to make sure that we donate our food scraps. We want, to, we want to compost, whether it's banana peels or apple cores. We want to make sure it gets composted. Easier said than done. We want community gardens. How many people have been to a community garden? Community garden is wonderful. And they can compost. And then that compost goes into rich, fertilized soil for planting new fruits and vegetables. I see people are refilling their water bottles. You know what a water bottle is. Not everybody does. Not everybody uses them like you do. We have plastic cups and plastic cups and plastic cups and styrofoam cups and styrofoam cups. Terrible for the environment. So instead of having plastic cups and plastic bottles, refill your water bottle at a water fountain. That's fine in the school, but if I had my way and we're working on it, we want to have water fountains all over the place so you can fill it up anywhere you are not just in the library in the school where there are water fountains. Reuse your plastic bags. Hopefully we'll have a law soon, no plastic bags. We don't even want to have paper bags because then we tear down trees. So we want to have your own reusable bag when you go to the grocery store. These are easy things to talk about, not so easy to also implement. So we have to reduce, reuse, and recycle. I work with the Solid Waste Advisory Board, which is a group of 50 citizens, and every single month they come together to talk about these issues. I bet you know more. You know more because you have this fabulous greenhouse, you know all about hydroponics, you know all about gardens, you know how to grow things. People can learn from you. So if we all reduce and we reuse and we recycle and we compost, then each one of our individual small efforts will add up to thousands of tons of garbage not going to a landfill, which is definitely not good for the environment, and it will save New York City money. We spend over $300 million, that's a lot of zeros, every time the truck goes to the tunnel or goes out leaving New York City with our garbage, that's costing you and me $300 million a day. So if we recycle and we compost, it will be good for the environment and it won't cost as much money. I am so honored to be here today. Congratulations to everyone. This is New York Sunworks. This is the real STEM. Thank you very much.